Well, it's been years in the making, but finally the cabin is ready for Christmas. I spent the entire week getting it all furnished and set up, and it's looking really good. So I'm gonna take you inside here and give you the full cabin Christmas tour, after which I'm gonna jump in the snow cat, pick up my wife and daughter, and bring them back to the cabin. Anyway, let's head inside the cabin, and I'll show you what I've got so far. First of all, welcome to the family room. As you can see behind me, I've got a sectional that I brought in and it wasn't easy to bring in. I towed it behind the four wheeler and the trailer kept getting caught in all these ruts on the way out here. Uh, it was terrible, but I brought it out here and it's here to stay, thank goodness. Anyway, other than being a nice place to sit, it can also double as a bed and it creates a natural divide between the family room and the kitchen area. So I appreciate how this couch helps to define the family room a little bit better. As well, I picked up that chair and I brought that in with these chests. I picked up these chests, I think years ago at a yard sale, knowing that I was gonna use them in the cabin. So it's nice to finally see them on display. I've got my deer antler candle holders, which came in a set with the deer antler lamps. Uh, and I mentioned in the last episode that I got all that from Bass Pro. As well, I've got the first gift of Christmas to our daughter. Uh, it's a board game and I know that she's gonna absolutely love it. Anyway, let's head into the kitchen and I'll show you some features there. When my dad and I were building this cabin, we put a lot of thought into its layout. We wanted to flow as easily as possible from one room to the next without feeling constricted. So as you can see here, we have this sort of hallway which flows to the washroom in the back entrance. But if you take a left at the ladder, you'll head straight into the kitchen. So right here we have our fridge and propane cook stove. Initially when I was building this kitchen, I was going to inlay a cooktop right into the counter, but I decided against it. And that's because I didn't want to take out any more counter space than absolutely necessary. And the benefit of having a portable cook stove like this is we can cook with it when we need to, but if we need more counter space, we can always remove it and have more surface area to work with. Underneath here, this is our entire water system. We've got a 12 gallon tank, which I just installed, and a pump with an accumulator tank. So in the last episode, I just had the pump, and it was uh, creating a pulsing in the water lines, and as well, it was quite noisy. So now that I've got the accumulator tank, it has taken away the pulsing. It's still a little bit noisy, but I think I can work that out later on by securing the copper pipe a little bit better. The small pump is able to run both the kitchen faucet and the bathroom faucet at the same time, so we have no issues with pressure. Anyway, let's head around to the washroom and I can show you what I've done there. So as you can see, I've got Dad's jacket and hat hanging up in the corner. Thought it was a good spot for those things. As well, I've got this uh, epoxy door, which I made earlier in the year. There's the compost toilet and it works really well. Uh, it's vented outside and there's no smell whatsoever. Uh, even in the summertime when it's really, really hot and I have to leave the cabin for extended periods of time with the vent fan off, there's still no smell. So that compost toilet works perfectly for this application. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Over here we have the field stone sink which I made earlier in the year as well. It took a lot of work but it was worth it. Got my uh, hand towel, uh, hand soap, deer antler decor, air freshener, 
Got our lantern up top. Let's give the, the faucet a test. And it works like a charm. Anyway, let's head upstairs and I'll show you what I have there. So as you can see, this is the rustic farm bed, which I built recently using some curved cedars for the footboard and headboard. And if I back up here, you'll see that I also have a couch. And to fit it into this space, I took the legs off the couch and set it right on the floor, and it works really well. And so the nice thing about this is it also doubles as a bed. Now for these lanterns that you'll see all over the cabin, in case you're wondering, they are battery powered, which is nice because uh, in the night, if someone needs to use the, the bathroom, I'll have the power cut because we're on a solar system, so I want to conserve the batteries. Uh, so we can just use this little remote control, turn on some of the lanterns, and then we can see well enough to get down to the bathroom. So it works out really well. Uh, you'll see over here, I have the chandelier, which still needs to be wired up, but uh, I will do that eventually. I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. But otherwise, that is the tour of the cabin for Christmas. And uh, I'm going to head out now, jump in the snowcat and get my wife and daughter. Uh, I'm really excited to see the reaction. So let's go. Christmas and God bless.